Hello again, everyone. Welcome to Washington Gun Law TV. I am Washington Gun Law President William Kirk. Thanks for joining us. Coming to you from Washington's nicest indoor shooting facility. Of course, that is Security Gun Club right here in Woodinville, Washington. Hey, we're going to circle back now to the Ninth Circus, excuse me, Ninth Circuit. In the case of Miller v. Bonta, the twice successful challenge to California's assault weapon ban, the now twice stayed successful challenge and the soon to be twice overturned successful challenge by the Ninth Circuit. Now, we have done already a couple of videos highlighting the absolute gamesmanship that's going on here in the Ninth Circuit to keep Californians from actually enjoying what is supposed to be inalienable rights. And we have predicted that the Ninth Circuit would in fact continue with the gamesmanship. That has proven to be true with an order from the Ninth Circuit today. We'll explain in just a moment. So today, Let's spend a few minutes and let's talk about how the Ninth Circuit is still playing games with your rights. Okay, like I said, we're going to be talking about the case of Miller v. Bonta again. Now, as we know, a number of years ago, Judge Roger T. Benitez found that California's assault weapon ban was in fact unconstitutional, because it is. Uh, that was upheld by a three-judge panel of the Ninth Circuit, but then overturned by a full en banc panel of the Ninth Circuit. The case was then certified to the United States Supreme Court, but upon the holdings of Bruin being published, the United States Supreme Court granted, vacated, and remanded the case all the way back to the Ninth Circuit, who turned around and punted it all the way back down to Judge Benitez. Now, Judge Benitez, of course, could have just immediately issued a new ruling, but no, 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 no. He gave California an opportunity to supplement the record and give them every opportunity in the world to prove that their statute could pass constitutional muster. It did not succeed. We have now already talked about on this video right here, the Miller v. Bonta 2 ruling, which once again has found California's assault weapon ban to shockingly still be unconstitutional. However, rather than this being appealed to a three judge panel, we now know that the Ninth Circuit has in fact taken a full en banc review and stayed the injunction and have done exactly the same thing in the Duncan v. Bonta case, which was the twice successful challenge to California's magazine ban. Now, that is enough gamesmanship, but when we did this video a couple of weeks ago, we said, hey, at least the one good thing, the one good thing to come from this order is that the court has expedited this review and we're gonna actually get to arguments in the month of December and we're gonna get on with this. Well, guess what? Uh, well, that's no longer the case because now the Ninth Circuit, without giving any reason whatsoever, has delayed not only the oral arguments, but then, of course, pushed all the briefing schedule back. And this is the first in what I think will be a long series of delays. The order of the court, very brief, reads as follows. Oral argument for this case is vacated. The court intends to schedule oral argument during the week of January 22nd, 2024 in Pasadena, California. Appellee's motion to appear remotely is thus denied as moot. In addition, the briefing schedule is modified as follows. The opening brief is due December 1st, 2023. The answering brief is due December 22nd, 2023. The reply brief is due January 8th, 2024. Per the court's October 18, 2023 order, the administrative stay shall remain in effect until the merits panel decides the appeal or issues an order lifting the stay. So this is delay number one, which could prove to be a long, long series of delays. You will notice, of course, the stay of the injunction will remain in effect until the Ninth Circuit has had an opportunity to rule on the merits. We know exactly what the Ninth Circuit is gonna do. Everybody knows what the Ninth Circuit is gonna do. And candidly, the United States Supreme Court just needs to step in and stop the nonsense now. Listen, the case once again is Miller v. Bonta. We'll link up the order of the court so you can geek out on it for yourself. If there are any other developments, and there assuredly will be, we will make sure to let you know. In the meantime, if you got any questions about anything else, related to what's left of our Second Amendment rights. You guys should know how to get a hold of Washington gun law by now. If you don't, that's okay. That information, it's right down there in the description box. Now, in the meantime, let's everyone remember that part of being the lawful and responsible gun owner, like we talk about all the time here, is to know what the law is in every situation, how it applies to you in any instance that you may find yourself. Until next time, thanks for watching and stay safe.